Hello YouTube, it's your boy Rosell. How you all doing? I know it's nice. It's a beautiful Saturday out here. Today's date is the uh, <laughs> 28th. And this is brought to you all by Rosie. <laughs> anyway, look, uh, this video is on group channels, how to create channels, well, how to create group channels, um, reason form, your inputs and outputs. We're going to talk about some plugins. As you can see, I have the wave arts up here. Ooh, I'm just loving this track. It's, mm, it just speaks to me. But anyway, let's get into it. Get that out the way. And that's the wave art multi band compressor if you all want to know and i if we have time i talk about it and all that good stuff so group channels uh why do we use them um one reason is that uh as you can see i have four tracks allotted for my verse and my verse is going to come down here to where it says verses and that is it's a group channel and if I have anything that's on these tracks, it's also going to light up the meter on the meter bridge, on the mixer right here. And this is stereo, and these are mono. And let's talk about that. As you can see, the input is coming from the mic, but the output of this track is not going to the main output. It's going to the versus group channel that I made right here, which is stereo. Now, your mono means everything is going to sit in the center, <clears throat> and you can pan it left and right. Now, on your mic channel, which is my input here, if I were to make this stereo, then all my audio from the mic is going to come from the left side. So if you all having that problem where it's coming from the left, then you need to check your input, and that's going to be over here on devices, and you can press F4 on your connections, and let's take a look. And right here where I said, if I were to make this stereo, you know, you know, edit the bus or add another bus or whatnot, um, then my audio would come from the left. And I had a, that problem for about five minutes, and I had to sit down and think about it. But here it is, mono. And, of course, the um, Phantom G8 is stereo, and I have it on 9 and 10 because, you know, of course, I got keys, all kind of stuff coming out of there. So, and there you go. And your output, stereo, that's the main out, which was on the fader over here. This is the main out right here. It's the main fader. Everything plays through this puppy right here. So, group channels. You can make your group channels here. All you have to do is right-click, add group channels right there. You don't have to do it that way. You come over here because a lot of times you don't want to work behind the scenes. You don't have time, so you're doing everything while you're hot. So <clears throat> while the artist is there, you right click on a track, add track, right here, add group channel track. Boom. There it is. It's giving me the option for stereo, mono, 5.1, and more. You can do six. You got seven. You got eight. So depending what you want somebody talking out the rear left speaker, hey, you can do it. It's right there. So once you hit OK, there it is. There it is right there. We have a group channel six. I have a group channel five, but they haven't been assigned where well, five has. So let's go to six. That's the one I just done. And as you can see, anything that plays through this group channel, the output is going to the finite stereo out. And for me, no, I want to go to the main mix just like that. Because once I get into my mixing, and I get my levels good on my verses, then I'm going to do the same thing for the hook. I'm just going to work on the hook section. Uh, get the levels right, get everything I need, get it to the same level as the verses. And then whatever going on in extra, it could be music, it could be drums, it could be ad-libs, it could be whatever. Extra is just extra. And all, all of that, the verses, the hooks, and what I got going on in reasons will come out. And it all would meet right here on the main mix. This is where all the music actually meets. The vocals, meets the music, the drums, everything. And let's look at the rewire track real quick. Boom. As you can see, I have many tracks going on over here in Reasons. And when this song is done, like guitar support, the guitar lead, uh, certain these, some, some of these will be... Um, rewired on their own individual track for 
more processing, probably more compressing, or it may have to, I might run it through an EQ or something like that. But let's talk about rewire. So let's hit the tab key. Rewire is sending everything through the hardware device right here on Reasons. You can, I can take something out of the mixer here and plug it right there. And then I come right over here to Cubase or New Window. Right now I have New Window up, but it's the exact same. And you just come right here, Reasons, Rewire, right there. And once you light these two up, these are stereo. So all the audio that's coming out of that mixer is coming right here. And if you just want to mix over there in Reasons, you can. Or you can put everything on its own track. I believe you can run up to 64. Yep, you run all the way up to 64. And you can, you can go hot just like that. So <clears throat> let's see how much time we have. Okay, we got the six minutes okay so let's get into some of the plugins and uh and you know uh let's talk about you know some mixing let's just have a little fun so um i use this small mastering tool it's part of the amt kit um and it's very nice it's soft um you can add some great volume to your bass um or whatnot whatever's going on in the song but once all my music meets right here, and this is main mix, the only thing I do is uh, I just try to keep everything a little level, and it does ceiling out at zero. You can go past zero, but I don't know why you would do that. Um, so I keep it at zero or a little less and <clears throat> get the most volume that I can out the track without it distorting or being too loud. So that's one of the things I use. Uh, now, you know I like to run my my studio like you know like a real studio so i don't like to run things virtually as far as you know you lay your tracks and then i come back and put the processing in no i like to run it hot i like to run it right then and there so i don't have to come back to it and say processing power so that's why my front end looks like this and then we're going to come over here here's the waves art and let's talk about it it's in all my videos i'm trying to make it real quick okay here, here it is Solid State Logic, SSL Studio Channel. I love it. And <clears throat> you all need to use it. If you haven't used it, the EQs are nice. I'm just bypassing it as always because I have the Eureka. I have my own little setup like I want it. And then, you know, I have a Yes Sir right there, which you see is working and everything. But I don't have the pop filter on the mic. I just slid it over here. So it's going to be doing whatever it does. And the Wave Arts. Uh, this little joker is is nice. Play a little music with it and everything, but I like it. So anyway, um, it's the most band compressed. I'm using it on the vocals, and as you can see, it it's doing a real nice little job. How I want it. I don't want too much on that high end there, and it's bringing it down. So there we go. We can it can just drop as much as it like. I like that. It's give me not too much space, but it's good. But you can set all of these. You can slide these like that. Real easy to use. Very nice, very nice piece of um, software here. And I'm also going to let you all enjoy the track. I'm going to shut up. But keep hit me up with your emails. Uh, if you need me to master a track for you, send me a track. And also, I will be live on Ustream. We're getting that set up. So we'll do live shows. You can send me your tracks. I'll play them on the show and everything. The website is still coming. I just need, you know, to get more money to get the website the way I want it. So I won't put it out there until I know it's the way I want it and everything. So until then, you all continue to hit me up. Uh, it's a beautiful Saturday. Go outside. Enjoy yourselves. A-Town people. Do this for your boy Rosell.
really like that part right 